Well, I was taking the keyboard apart. Yeah, how far apart do you think it has to come to get to that jack? <laughs> That's going to be well, I don't know, there's only like four screws to take the whole thing like apart. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. If I need to take it apart. We have a screwdriver for it this time? It, uh, <laughs> oh, hello there. Yeah, for the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Recording this epic conversation. I'm the Mac versus the PC debate. Yeah. Wonderful. It is a common common occurrence in the office. It is. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's coming from the only yeah, Mac fan in the office. How does that come off? Uh, probably little, uh, custom shell he's got on there. You probably need Apple <laughs> certified screws to take yeah. third party accessories on. Right, you'll have to have one of the geniuses supervise you. <laughs> geniuses. <laughs> Please. That's how it works, right? Yeah. Bring well, out I'm your pretty phone. sure none of those geniuses actually know how to take apart. What do you mean? They're like Apple certified geniuses. They've got ID types for Christ's sake. Mm -hmm. Well, as soon as you just work for Apple, you're like that's, the Apple store. That's proof that they know what they're doing. Everything gets sent in for warranty, right? Uh, you have to drive it to Scarborough to get your computer service. I've never actually seen anybody send in anything for warranty. They've always just replaced it right on the spot for them. Yeah, they have it in there underneath the counter, just chuck everything in. And mm -hmm. They have the garbage and then they have a replacement bin. Yeah, they just chuck it in there and all gets scratched. Gets melted down for the and then they And then they just resell those as yeah. refurbished. No, no, they melt them down for the aluminum. And they make dimes out of them or something. Dimes? Yeah. Apple dimes? <laughs> that are 15 cents? If something breaks, they just go by the, by the uh, next highest number, right? No, no, they use, <coughs> they use the raw materials for paying the employees they have in China. Because they all live in like dormitories there with that. It's right there. You don't have to come out. Hmm? All those motherboard screws don't have to come out. Oh, get to the other side of the board. They're just close. It's an epic debate. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those motherboard screws are going to have to come out, Steve. Yeah, just a few. I don't especially like the do not remove One, battery. One, two, three, four, like eight screws there. Oh, much less than like 40 you would probably yeah. take to get that. So that's Wait. Are those even like Phillips head screws? Yeah. Wait a second, you have to take the whole computer part just to get to the hard drive? No, you just have to take this off. Just a few screws to get the back. Oh, okay. And then you get access to almost everything. Except for the other side of the motherboard. Well, cool, that's every, that's every laptop. Okay. You can't, well, you can't get access to both sides. What about the MacBook Air? How much is, are those, those are probably like soldered together. Oh, the MacBook Air? I'm surprised it's not just like a motherboard in there. Like the batteries integrated into it, and, and the new i new oh, MacBook um, Pros, those new ones. Like the, I don't know who would, if you the batteries are glued to the shelves. If you're buying that, I wouldn't be bringing it here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm just saying, like you spend twenty four hundred dollars on a brand new laptop, I'd probably want to bring it somewhere. Yeah, to yeah. the gas to drive it to Peterborough or Scarborough, where the nearest Mac store is. See. I'm probably just going to put the cover back on. You want to break that big warning sticker there? Well, does that I need don't, to be broken? It's not, no, it's not, bro, it's in, it, you can keep it on there. It's just saying, do not remove the battery. Which, if I'm going to be working on something inside here, I want to remove the battery so I don't blow up a $2,000 laptop. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Yeah, the phone say someone's regretting his decision. <laughs> well, it's better that he regrets it now than when he gets the parts in last time. Mm. Yeah, except the keyboard had like a hundred and like eighty screws, which I realized after you didn't have to take out one hundred eighty screws. You have to take out there's like a few of them, and then you can just pop the whole thing out. Right. And mm. no, no, when we were starting off, mm. everybody was saying you have to un unscrew the screws for each individual key because there's like four screws per key and you did that and that's what i started <laughs> doing and then i and then i read and then i was talking to another guy and he's like oh yeah you can just take the whole keyboard assembly out and then just replace that and I'm like, oh well you just wasted a day and a half of my time and now i have to put back another hundred plus screws and whatever happened to that um 
and the special screwdriver you needed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't use it. Hey, yeah, Justin, you're taking every shot possible. <laughs> I'm pretty sure at one point I saw yeah. that you had the screwdriver mm. glued to the screws. Yeah. I'm just waiting for you to go out and grab that $400 keyboard. Oh, yeah, the, <laughs> the expensive top assembly that we purchased oh, yeah. from some sketchy third party. Mm. What do we have here? That darn Windows. S3. S3 iPhone. Well, is it working? Let's, com let's it's compare this here. Oh, okay. Look at the size that. difference. Look at that little thing. Yeah, kind of. Let me turn it up. <laughs> it's not a very size. Yeah. In this case, size does matter. Look. Yeah, 